Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another day of story time. All right, friends, I want to see who is watching. So I'm going to use my name cards, and I'm going to have my name cards help me tell me who is watching. Are you ready? Jacob, Jacob, who do you see? I see Nora looking at me. Nora, Nora, who do you see? I see Carly looking at me. Carly, Carly, who do you see? I see Lillian looking at me. Lillian, Lillian, who do you see? I see Ronnie looking at me. Ronnie, Ronnie, who do you see? I see Will looking at me. Will, Will, who do you see? I see Hayden looking at me. Hayden, Hayden, who do you see? I see London looking at me. London, London, who do you see? I see Claire looking at me. Claire, Claire, who do you see? I see Annabelle looking at me. Annabelle, Annabelle, who do you see? I see Noble looking at me. Noble, Noble, who do you see? I see Logan looking at me. Logan, Logan, who do you see? I see Lincoln looking at me. Lincoln, Lincoln, who do you see? I see Trevor looking at me. All right, friends, that's all my friends. Welcome today. Today, my friends, before we sit down for story time, I have a new stretching uh, poem to teach. Can you do it with me? So we have to start by standing up. Are you ready? All right. Reach for the sky, then touch your toes. Wiggle your fingers, now touch your nose. Wave your hands in the air, then turn around. Now that everyone has stretched, please sit down. All right, we, oops, I sat right down on my pillow. We are ready to start. Before we start, start our story today. Can we sing our song that we've been singing all week and learning? All right, are you ready? Easter time, Easter time, we have so much to do. Time for bunnies, time for eggs, but time for Jesus too. Easter time, Easter time, Jesus showed his love. He died for us and rose again. He's with the Lord above. Wow, boys and girls, that is awesome. Every day, you're getting a little louder, and you're singing that song better and better because you're learning it better each day. All right, boys and girls, today is part three of the story of the first Easter. All right, boys and girls, do you remember where it led off, left off yesterday? Jesus was up on the cross. And do you remember that there were the soldiers and they had treated him very badly. They had beat him and hit him. And Jesus up on the cross said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. So boys and girls, he was praying for his enemies. He was praying for the people that were not treating him right. Let's see what the next page holds. It says two men who had been robbers had been sentenced to die. They were led out to be crucified at the same time with Jesus. One was placed on a cross at his right side and the other at his left. Pilate ordered a sign hung over Jesus' head, which read, This is Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. So, boys and girls, it was kind of their way of making fun of him, making fun of him. 
The people in the crowd looked at Jesus on the cross and they mocked him. Boys and girls, that means they made fun of him. The priests and the scribes said, said, He saved others, but he can't save himself. If you can come down from the cross, we'll believe you. So boys and girls, they made fun of him hanging up on that cross and they said, If you really are God, then you come down from that cross. Boys and girls, Jesus could have come down from the cross. But then he wouldn't have been able to die for our sins. He stayed up on the, on the cross to take your punishment and my punishment for sin. Even one of the robbers mocked Jesus, made fun of Jesus. One of the other men that was hanging on the cross next to him. But the second robber scolded him. He kind of got on to him and he said, Don't you fear God to talk like that? He asked. He says, you're going to die the same way. We deserve to die. But this man, he's done nothing wrong. Then, then this man said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus answered him, today you will be with me in heaven. Boys and girls, one of the two robbers, they believed in Jesus. And Jesus said, today... You will be with me in heaven. Jesus saw his mother Mary and his friend Mary Magdalene standing near the cross. They were filled with sorrow and sadness for him. Also standing nearby was his disciple John. Jesus asked John to take care of his mother. So this is John and he said, John, will you look after my mother? Because he knew he wasn't going to be around to look after her and to take care of her. Then all a sudden darkness came over the land. You can see how dark it looked. Jesus cried out, My Father, my God, why have you forsaken me? It is finished. Father, into your hands I give my spirit. So boys and girls, when Jesus died, all of the earth got dark. The light went away and it was dark. And Jesus said, it is finished. Well, boys and girls, at that moment, there was a loud clap of thunder. And the earth shook like an earthquake. The Roman officer, and you can see him right here. The Roman officer who had charge of the soldiers, he was in charge of the soldiers around the cross, saw what had taken place and how Jesus had died. He was afraid and he said, surely this was the Son of God. You know, this soldier realized what all had happened. He realized that Jesus on the cross, he really was the Son of God. That evening, Joseph of Arimathea, he was a wealthy man who believed in Jesus, went to Pontius Pilate. Do you remember who Pontius Pilate was? He was the man who asked the people if he should let Barabbas go or let Jesus go. And they said, let Barabbas go. Let that criminal go. And he washed his hands. He was the man in charge. He was the governor. So Jar Joseph of Arimathea went to Pontius Pilate. He asked Pontius Pilate for permission to bury the body of Jesus. Joseph then took down his body from the cross and he wrapped it in linen, kind of in white cloths. Right here you can see it. Nicodemus, another man who, was, who believed in Jesus, brought precious spices and they wrapped up the body with it. So they put those spices on the body and they wrapped up the body so the body didn't get smelly. Then they placed the body in a tomb, which is a cave dug out of a rock. So you can see here, this is a, a cave and there's an opening up in the cave and that's where they put Jesus. They placed the body in a tomb, which is a cave dug out of a rock. 
They cover the opening of the tomb with a large stone. So here's the stone. And it probably took both of them to push that stone and cover the tomb. They didn't want anyone to come and take the body. So they put that rock in front of it. The following morning, some of the people who had helped to crucify Jesus came to Pilate. They reminded him that Jesus has, had said, After three days, I will rise again. Pilate gave orders that the tomb should be watched for three days to make sure nobody tried to steal the body away. So he put soldiers. Do you see those soldiers? They were guarding the tomb. The rock was there, but they were guarding the tomb to make sure that nobody would take the body. Early on the first day of the week, there was a great earthquake. As the angel of the Lord came from heaven and rolled back the stone and sat on it, Mary Magdalene and some of the others came to the tomb. They found the stone had been rolled away, boys and girls, and they saw the angel. Boys and girls, this is the most exciting part of the story. The angel told them not to be afraid. They were a little afraid because the stone was rolled back, the angel was sitting in there, and the angel said, do not be afraid. Jesus is not here. For he is risen. He wasn't in the tomb anymore. But there was an angel sitting there telling the ladies that Jesus was no longer there. But he was risen. He didn't stay in that tomb, boys and girls. Afterwards, Jesus appeared to the disciples. And he stayed with them for 40 days. It's a long time, a little over a month. Then he was taken up to heaven. He went up into heaven where he lives today. Today, when we celebrate Easter, we remember the day that Jesus rose from the dead. And boys and girls, Jesus rose from the dead for you, for me, for everyone. So that we could believe in him and trust in him. And one day... We could live forever with Jesus in heaven. Boys and girls, I know that that was a very long book. And it took us several days to read it. But I love this book. Boys and girls, this is the greatest story that's ever been told. And the greatest story I've ever been able to read to you. Such an awesome story. My friends, can we pray together? All right, let's hold our hands. Bow our heads. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for the beautiful weather and the sunshine and the birds chirping. I want to thank you today for this story. God, I want to thank you for sending your son to die on the cross for me, for all the boys and girls, for everyone. Thank you so much for loving us so much that you gave us a way to be in heaven with you forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. Nice job, boys and girls. I have a super quick game that we're going to play. It's a game to review the letter of the week. Do you remember what the letter of the week is? You got it. It's the letter X. Will you say the sound that X makes? Can we sing the song about the letter X? X says X. X says X. Every letter makes a sound and X says X. All right, friends. Remember on Monday when we talked about the letter X and we said that sometimes X, we see that in pirate books or pirate movies and um, sometimes up X will be on a treasure box and we'll say, or we'll say X marks the spot. Well, this game is called X marks the spot. So underneath here, boys and girls, I'm going to lift these up. And if there's an X, you're going to yell out, X marks the spot. If there isn't an X, if it's a different letter, you're going to say, too bad, 
so sad. Will you play this with me? All right, I'm gonna lift this first one. What do we see? Too bad, so sad. But what letter do we see, boys and girls? You're right, it's the letter P. Now, is this a capital P or a lowercase p? You're right again, it's a capital P. Can you think of a word that starts with the P sound? Puff, puff, P. Oh, I'm thinking of something yummy that's buttery and salty. And sometimes I like to watch it on, or I like to eat it on movie night. Do you know what it is? You got it again. Popcorn. All right, boys and girls, let's lift up the next one. X marks the spot. Okay, so we're going to leave the X right there. Great job. Let's go to the next one. Too bad. So sad. My friends, what letter is this? You're right. It's the letter R. Now, can you tell me, is it a lowercase r or an uppercase r? I heard it. It's a lowercase r. Can you think of a word that starts with R? Hmm. I thought of a friend of ours whose name is Ronnie. R -r -r Ronnie starts with R. Very good. Okay, let's move down here. What do you see, boys and girls? X marks the spy. Great job. Let's move to the next one. Oh, boys and girls, is this an X? No. Too bad. So sad. What letter is this? Very good. It's the letter K. K, K, K. Is that a capital K or a lowercase K? Right again. It's a capital K. Can you think of a word that starts with the letter K? Hmm. I'm thinking of someone who wears a crown on his head. You guessed it, a king. All right, one more, boys and girls. X marks the spot. Great job. Boys and girls, you did a super job on that game. Can you give yourself a firework? Okay, you ready? Pop. Shh. What color was yours? I'm missing all your fireworks at school. You did a super job on that game. All right, my friends, I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.